All right, gang, so our last limiting factor would be the posterior rotator cuff itself, okay? And those are all of kind of our, the muscles on the back side of our shoulder that get really stiff and don't allow uh, this area to open up back here, okay? And so for me, the easiest way to go about um, relaxing this stuff is to use a tennis ball. And we've got a couple different areas that we wanna work on. If you have a massage gun, truthfully, that's probably the best way to go about this particular area. What I like to do is just take the massage gun and work on a couple of different areas. One being an ex a muscle called the supraspinatus, which is up here. Okay, that guy gets super tight and doesn't allow for um, internal rotation of the shoulder to occur, so we just kind of stay protracted forward. That just means that we can't recheck our shoulder blade. Um, also, our teres minor and our infraspinatus, all those like big words that are rotator cuffs. So anyway, we're going to start by putting the ball behind our supraspinatus and just sort of let it let it release and this isn't perfect by any means like this muscle is more of a vertical muscle obviously so massage gun is much superior to this but you can also get in here pretty good so I'm starting here just releasing in this area okay, and I'm just kind of working across from there I can move to the posterior rotator cuff which is like right behind my armpit here Again, just letting this sink in. I can just kind of go like this, breathe in and out. And last but not least, we can also hit like our rhomboids and our serratus posterior, all the stuff up here, which is more kind of towards the center, uh, kind of medial or inner, inner to my shoulder blade here. And again, I just find those areas and you'll know because it'll just hurt like hell. And you just let it release, just breathe into it. You can kind of move your arm around a little bit here. Okay, and so once I've done that, uh, just kind of keeping this very simple in order to maintain my neck position. Again, in this position, I'm going to bridge up just a little bit. I'm going to put my weight on the inside of my feet. But with this one now, I'm going to take my, um, my right arm. I'm going to reach low across my body so that it opens up a little bit of space back here. And then I'm just going to sort of look in this direction a little bit and reach, breathe. And I spent about maybe one to two minutes here. And then we can come off the grounds. Again, for this one, as with previous videos, I really like a low oblique, or a low um, a short seated position for this. So I'm sitting um, pretty low. A double arm version of this would just be like this, but for us, we're going to just reach across the body a little bit. You can either just do kind of a low reach like that, or I could go a little bit further. This is a bit more aggressive. This is a little less aggressive. And just look to my right a little bit. Breathe in. It's going to give you a lot of posterior expansion. It's going to help that area to open up. So hopefully between these three videos, you have some ideas and things to think about. Give that a go. Um, as always, please let us know if you have any questions. Enjoy.